Hi, I'm Megan Baker, and this is Influence Her. Tiffany Orner is a proud U.S. Air Force veteran and the business development manager at J-Dog Junk Removal and Hauling Empire. She is a trailblazer for women, and she is a very active community supporter, veteran advocate, and friend to many. Welcome, Tiffany. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Tiffany, you are an Air Force veteran. First and foremost, thank you for your service. Your yeah, mother also aunt. served the country and you followed in her footsteps. How did you come to the realization you wanted to do so? So um, high school for me, uh, most of my life I grew up um, out west. And then one month after my freshman year, my mom literally gets out of the military, works for Target, and they move us from California to South Jersey. So that was a really tough transition for me. Um, and I didn't like it. I mean, the people are great. Obviously, I made some really good friends, but I wanted to get out of Jersey. I just wanted to get out and I wanted to just see if I can get back to California. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, what was your experience in the U.S. Air Force like, especially as a young African-American woman? Um, it was, to be honest, it was it was a breath of fresh air. Um, because I am the type that needs, I need consistency, I need structure, I need you to tell me what you need from me, and then I execute in that in that fashion. So going in was great, and like you said, my mom is military, my grandfather, uncles, and brother, they're all army, so that, um, you know, attention to detail, integrity, all of that, that was, that was a no-brainer, that was easy. So it was great, it was amazing to be surrounded by so many selfless people, um, you know, in it, in it for all of us, and just just ready to protect and serve. So you had mentioned um, just how literally you moved from the West Coast to New Jersey. Uh, what was that adjustment like and how did you adapt to going from West Coast to East Coast? Because it's not easy. No, not at all. Um, it was tough, you know, but I was, well, I was a kid. I was a freshman, so it's totally different. When I left the military and moved as an adult, it was very difficult. We left right before the economy hit and at the time we were young airmen we couldn't afford to stay in california um at the you know price range of the um, living environment at that time so we had to come back east we had to come to family and um it was really tough and that was where my struggle kind of happened was transitioning from uh, military and military community to a place like albany that obviously has military installations which are amazing but it's a different mindset for both the military member and the civilian community when there is an active duty installation right there in your face. You know, it's just a totally different mindset. I'm sure you travel and you've been to places where you're like, oh, that's a military base. And you kind of sit up right, you know, and it's it's that um, work ethic. It was, it was a tough transition and it took a lot of time. And, um, you know, I'm getting there. I, I, I'm, I'm still transitioning. It's been almost 15 years, but I'm getting used to it. We're good, especially with the sun. <laughs> You spend so much time giving back to the community, especially veterans. Why is volunteerism so important to you? Um, it's a no-brainer. Um, with COVID, um, I was laid off. J-Dog, you know, we're, we are amazing, but we are a startup. We started up, uh, it's a franchise, but we started here in 2016. So I was laid off. And I think I sat for the first three or four days and I'm like, I can't do this. I can't sit still. And thankfully I'm healthy. My children are healthy. My daughter's daycare is open and their regulations and how they're handling COVID. Um, my husband and I were comfortable with sending her. So I just reached out and I, I saw movers and shakers on Facebook and LinkedIn. And I said, how can I help? Um, with volunteering, you know, I'm not trying <laughs> I'm doing what I would want someone to do for me if I were in their situation. That's it. That That's all I'm doing. And especially for the veterans, especially for the 1% of us that served, it's so important to take care of us. So my why. And there's, there's really not, um, you know, not enough support to, for veterans. Um, my father's a Vietnam veteran, so um, understand the importance um, of it too. You have two young men uh, who attend CBA locally and a young daughter. Would you want them to follow in your footsteps serving the country one day? Absolutely. Yes. So my youngest son is a freshman and he's all about Air Force Academy. He's very intelligent. School comes easy to him. So he's like all about it. Good to go. My oldest, school's tough for him. Like me and his father, it's a little difficult. 
you know, but he's still kind of drifting. And I'm like, listen, after high school, I'm done. No more. Like we're paying for CV now. We're done. So hopefully, I, you know, I believe he's going to go Air Force. He likes to give me a hard time. Um, but yeah, I, absolutely. And then for my daughter, oh my goodness. In a perfect world, I want her to be a Navy SEAL. I want her to go hard, you know what I mean? And just be a beast and be a force. So yeah, they're all going military if I have anything to say. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, if you could provide a piece of advice to young women who have an interest in the armed services, what would it be? Absolutely. I'm a firm believer that after high school, every single person should have to serve their country for two to four years just to get the feel of it, to um, really have them break you down and build you up, um, you know, as a team. So absolutely. If any female um, is thinking about going to the military, I'm like, go. You have no medical issues. You're good to go. Like, go. Absolutely. Because it's an experience of a lifetime. You meet people from literally all over the world um, and they turn into family, you know. So I have friends in Japan right now, Guam, Hawaii, Vegas, Texas, um, Germany, all over. So absolutely. My brother was in the Air Force, too. I forgot to mention that he was stationed in Hawaii for some time. So you ha we had yeah. that connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great connection. So now we move on to Baker's Dozen, which is 13 rapid fire questions with short answers by you. Are you ready? Yes. Great. All right. So this is an easy one. Favorite Capital Region ice cream spot? Curve <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> I don't. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> 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 That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Capital Region community event do you always look forward to? Community event. Oh, anything at Saratoga National. I love it there. Reminds me of Napa. <laughs> what is one job or career you always wanted to try? I always wanted to try. Actually, a restaurant owner. Do you prefer East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that, I guess? <laughs> I just love the weather. I, I, I love the weather. I love the diversity. Um, you know, just don't know what anyone is. You're like, oh, they're mixed with X, Y, and Z, and come to find out they're Guam and Asian. But <laughs> I just love the diversity, and I need this. This is where I thrive in the sun. So, Very honest answer. First thing you do when you wake up. Work out, go in the garage, and um, yeah. Do you prefer family time or alone time? Uh, family time, as crazy as they drive me, family time. If you could hop on a plane and go anywhere right now, where would it be? Roatan, Honduras. We were supposed to take the kids there for spring break, so Roatan. And so which do you prefer since you do work out a lot, because I see your videos, <laughs> sit up, <laughs> yeah. push-ups, or pull-ups? Can I say burpees? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and those are my least favorite. Oh, I, I will do those all day. <laughs> First thing you notice about someone when you meet them? Their smile. One person you would like to meet one day? David Goggins. <laughs> One person, um, well, I already asked you that, a local organization um, that you love and cherish. Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. <laughs> okay, so this question is from our previ previous guest. What do you think you can do for young women starting their careers? Lead by example. I could show them better than I can teach them. I could, and that's what I do for my daughter. I show her. You know, it's not just about, oh, thank you for your service or all that. Get out there, get your hands dirty, and actually walk the talk. Tiffany, you get to ask the final question to our next guest. What will that be? Oh, what is your why? Like that. Tiffany, thank you so much again for your service. Business Development Manager at J-Dog Junk Removal and Hauling Empire. We wish you the best. I can't wait to see you at the next social event, um, or maybe even volunteering. Thank you for everything that you do. Yes, thank you guys for having me. You guys stay safe. Thank you. You too, thank you. Bye.